the build just keeps getting better. What can I say? It just keeps getting better. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, let me start off by diving into chain explosions. Quick digression. Um, if you're not interested in that, then just skip ahead. However, chain explosions. Back in the day, when community was figuring out how game works, people often used, obviously, the captain obvious of chain explosions, Herald of Ice. Some coped it with Ice Nova or Val Ice Nova. I think it got nerfed. I think it was way. It wasn't capped to five times, I think, but how it works is you you, you do your normal Ice Nova. You, you know what it looks like, right? You just do your Ice Nova, boof, 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 right? And um, how it works or how it used to work. Val Ice Nova, if you hit an enemy with this Nova, another Nova will spread off the enemy that you hit it with. So this kind of spreads. Now the Ice Nova is cold damage. This is really very convenient for Herald of Ice, because Herald of Ice not only adds flat damage to spells as well, um, but it also explodes the enemy if it got shattered. Shattered means that you freeze an enemy, and then while it's frozen it dies. So um, it has no corpse explosion effect, it just gets shattered. So if there was, would be a porcupine and you would freeze a porcupine and then kill it with cold damage, it would shatter so it wouldn't shoot out all its projectiles because it got shattered. Now if you're dealing cold damage anyway um, and you're critting, because in order to chill or freeze enemies the easiest way is to just crit them. If you're dealing cold damage, it's just normal that enemies get shattered if you kill them. So Herald of Ice would also explode. So you had an, would have an explosion of Ice Nova that chains and every enemy that dies would change your Herald of Ice as well. So there w was a tactic or a technique or a method where you would go into a low tier map, proc a legion, stand in the middle of the legion, press your Val Ice Nova and every mob would just explode and die and the legion would have broken up as long as it is in your in the area where, where, where your game loads right in, in your screen like off screen as well but there's a certain point where an enemies don't move anymore and where nothing happens to those enemies if you walk too far uh, too far away right now the problem is why low tier maps because this one is flat damage this one is also flat damage so <sighs> if there would be 10 small mobs that die from this and one big mob in the middle. Of course, the 10 mobs would all proc the Herald of Ice that would all deal damage to the big mob and this one would also, the, all the 10 mobs would deal damage to the big mob but most of the time in Path of Exile if there's a big mob is really big and it wouldn't die. So for example in the legions, if you do it too high tier the generals would survive or some chests. Mm. It's kind of annoying because it's flat damage. And you can o only scale it so much, right? Because it's already cold damage, so you can't convert it anymore. Uh, you can convert it to fire, obviously, but if you convert it to fire, you kind of have to wait to find to, to shatter it, because the way conversion works in Path of Exile, you can convert physical to lightning, lightning to cold, cold to fire, and all of that to chaos. You cannot do it any other way. You can't convert fire to lightning, this doesn't work. It doesn't work. It always works this way. Conversion is great because you can scale up the damage even higher than to give a quick explanation of that. Um, if you would try to... If you would, 100, if you would have 100 damage and you would want to scale this 100 damage up to 1000 damage, then you would need either 1000... Ah, then you would either need 100% increased damage, so your 100 damage gets up to 1000 damage, okay. So you need 100% increased damage then. 100% increased damage is not hard to get in Path of Exile, but if you want to scale your 100 not to 1000, but like to 10,000, 1000% th increased damage is a bit annoying because you won't, it will be annoying to find. So what you do instead is, first of all, get increased damage, like to some threshold, like for example, 100% increased damage. And then you want more damage because more damage is a buff is multiple multiple multi multiplies with <laughs> increased damage. So you want to have 100% more damage then, right? So you are at 10,000 now, really easy. Now if you want to go even higher, you go then crit. Now your spell can crit, so it deals double damage of that. 
Okay, cool. Now go crit multiplier. So the crit mo goes even higher, right? And if you want to scale even more, you go your 100 damage to 1000 damage and then convert it. Because if your 100 damage is physical damage, for example, you can increase it with increased damage. Now you have 100 damage, 100% increased physical damage, you have 1000 physical damage. But if you convert it now to, for example, cold damage, and you would say 100% increased cold damage, then you would have also 10,000 uh, 10, damage hit, but with two increased mods. But the one increased mods comes after the conversion, so it's like a more mod. <laughs> so, if you in, so if you would go physical damage into cold, into fire, for example, this is kind of cheesy then, <laughs> but uh, this is kind of how conversion works, it's pretty nice. But cold is like almost last in line, so we can't really do as much with it, and we want the chill and shadow effect here. So, mm -mm -mm. now, this is the tactic, but it kind of, yeah, it can only deal so much damage. Herald of Ash. Now, what Herald of Ash does is. <sighs> If you kill an enemy, other enemies near them will be burned based on the overkill damage. Means if there's an enemy with 100 health and you deal 200 damage to the enemy, meaning 100 damage over zero life, this 100 damage over zero life will be inflicted as a burning debuff to all enemies around it. Let me let me draw this. I I I how, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but I, I pre pre Well I made this real quick. Oh, why do I forget what's vorbereitet it is in German? But um imagine those are all enemies. Imagine those are all enemies, it's a pack of enemies which is just standing there, right? So if you would deal one spell one spell that kills this enemy, over kills this enemy, right? So this enemy is dead. Because it got overkilled, the overkill damage is now transferred to all enemies around it. Depending on how much AoE you have, it could also be like this. Right? And sometimes your damage is so high that those get killed as well. However, even if those get killed as well, burning damage isn't is burning damage. It's damage over time. It's not a big hit. So burning damage doesn't have any overkill damage. So these ones Oh, let me find a green color. Du, 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 du. So these ones would still be safe. They are all safe. Nothing happens to them, right? So Herald of Ash is kind of quality of life, especially if you don't only kill one mob and get a bigger group of this, but if you, for example, I don't know, you throw in a big spell and the big spell hits all of these and you have a lot of AoE, right? So these get killed off and because you have a lot of AoE, then uh, that gets inflicted to all of these minions and you practically, right? You kill all of these, boop, boop, and all those are still safe, okay? If that makes sense. This is the basic interaction of Herald of Ash. Um, keep in mind that if you're playing Herald of Ash, the burning damage, the burning damage that is, did I lie about the overkill damage? It's not the, yeah, and didn't lie, but it's not 100% of the overkill damage, I think. Herald of Ash. Did I just say Herald, Herald of Ash, where is it, 20? Oh, okay, the burning damage is 25% of the overkill damage, so it's not 100, and then, another, uh, so it's not, if you deal 200 damage to an enemy that's just 100 health, it's not that you get 100 overkill damage, but it's like you get 25 or based on quality you get a bit more. But, I mean, white mobs, so normal monsters in juiced maps, how much HP do they have? 30,000? It's just a guess, I don't really know. And you're running there with your million damage hits, kind of guarantees the, this mob and the th mobs around them to die, right? So this re doesn't really chain. It's a bit, it's a bit cooler. It's a bit nice. Exploded. This re doesn't really chain. So, hmm. However, however, since it's burning damage and this burning damage does not scale with spell damage, it does apparently scale with damage over time. Um, but you wouldn't really need any scaling for this. By the way, the the where is it? 
38% more burning damage node on the Herald of Ash. It is local. It is not um, for all other spells, it is local. So it's kind of weird to read because you're thinking, okay, 30% of overkill damage and then 38% uh, more burning damage. It's, it's local, it's local. Now, and I will quickly lock onto another character of this. So this isn't technically a chain yet. If you would go for the Herald of Ice, some some character that scales cold damage, you could at, at least chain completely because Herald of Ice always the damage of Herald of Ice doesn't fall off. If something gets shattered and killed, it it chains. It changed to to all other mobs around them. And they also die. They also get killed. To uh, draw this real quick, I, I mean, I think you kind of get what I mean. But if I were to draw it. Um, let's pick up this for Herald of Ice. So if you would, I don't know. Ah, this is how it worked. Ah, right, right. So if you would be standing, let's say we are standing here, and we do our Val Ice Nova, and we get all these mobs. Then from these mobs, the Val Ice Nova also hits like this mobs, this mobs, this mobs, this mobs, this mobs, right, and the, they explode and the explosion from the Herald of Ice also hits all of these so it spreads outwards and hopefully if your monitor screen if your monitor screen is like this I don't know why then you probably would kill everything right but if your monitor screen would be like only small like this then these mobs here would be right let me draw it properly these mobs, let me draw it properly. <laughs> These mobs here would be would be safe in the outer ring because they are not in your in the area you're loading, right? So you kind of have to look out for what you really want, and um, to scale this Val Ice Nova, um, Herald of Ice thing that already al 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 that already got nerfed might not be the best idea because you're kind of capped by the game <laughs> mechanics. So that is that. However, however. Now, this character has <sighs> Herald of Ash built into its build. Like I said, the base burning damage of this scales with damage over time. I don't have any damage over time, and he doesn't scale with fire damage. It only scales with damage over over time. And um, I don't have any burning damage. I have fire damage mod, but I, the fire damage mods don't do anything to this. So. Um, I don't scale any burning damage, I don't scale any damage over time in this build. So, I do have an explodey chest, but I will put it off for for you to kind of understand or to see in action what I was talking about with the uh, Herald of Ice Spread. So, what is going to happen now is I'm going to walk into a group of monsters. I'm going to do my Cyclone. Um, just so it makes sense to you, my Cyclone procs a Shockwave. This Shockwave deals, here it only says 200k, but it deals millions of damage. And so my Shockwave will kill monsters, and then you see I have the MTX for a Herald. I have the MTX. You see it changed. I, I hit one mob, it changed to mobs that I don't really hit. I don't hit them. They are not hit by my Shockwave, but it changed to the mobs, right? But you can kind of see that it's capped, and it doesn't chain completely. It is. It might be pretty nice and obviously flashy, but it doesn't chain. Okay, so that's that. So what people do then to make this chain is they get some explode modifier. Enemies you kill have a 21% chance to explode, <laughs> lowest tier T1. Dealing a tenth of their maximum life as physical damage is my mod. This mod, what my build does, my build scales. First, my build scales f fire, uh, physical damage. Then my build converts physical damage into cold damage. Also, Herald of Ash, since I'm scaling elemental damage. So I'm scaling elemental damage, but I convert to cold. And elemental damage increases cold damage, obviously. But my Herald of Ash also gets 15% of my physical damage as extra fire damage. So this explosion, some of this explosion I get as extra fire damage. The physical damage of this explosion is gonna get 100% converted into cold damage, and I get f cold as extra physical. Blah 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 blah. TLDR: 
Um, this explosion deals more than 100% of the enemy equivalent health, but it's only 21% chance to explode, right? Even though, and let me draw this real quick be before I show it to you, even though, if I would run into a pack of enemy with my shockwave, right, let's take red again. So I trigger shockwave onto these enemies. <sighs> let's say none of them explode, none of them explode, but the Herald of Ash goes to those enemies. Depending on how much AoE you have, you could say they go like this as well. Okay, now... Mm, maybe a different color, maybe a brighter red. Now, this enemy now explodes, dealing more than 100% of his maximum HP, and not even more than 100%, way more than 100%, way more than 100%. So this explodes, and the explosion has an AoE radius as well. So the explosion takes now these enemies with them, it kills this, 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 the explosion is a big hit, so they get overkilled. So the overkill now is transferred by Herald of Ash to all these enemies. Um, this dies, this dies, this dies, this dies, and maybe now this one explodes again. This one explodes again. Big explode radius. Uh, explosion takes all these ones, and they transfer the Herald of Ash further on. Maybe this one explodes now. Explosion and Herald of Ash, right? Maybe this one explodes as well. Explosion... Ah, right, sorry. Explosion, Herald of Ash. So, now m maybe if you are unlucky and those don't explode, that they, they, they are still left here. But this is how Explosion Chain in Path of Exile, in the, well, most used way, I would say. There are versions where you can build up Explosion with Poison, with Bleed, for example. But this is the most common way and the mo most satisfying. Because, you see, I only tip my Cyclone once, prick one Shockwave, and it change. Uh, it chains, sorry. Completely chains. See? I just dip it. I just dip it. And it chains. Dip. 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 I think my map is not juicy enough to make this. The more mobs there are, the better, obviously. Dip. Dip. Now I can put my chest off again and show you how it looks with the chest off. Okay, this is a good one. I think it's because of the headhunter. But it shouldn't uh, chain like this. It should uh, cap out. Like, yeah, now... See, those those survive. Those survive. Because this was all my AoE could take. Those survived. So... Did we kill every mob? Isn't there? Ah, we didn't go bots. Just a little bit more for showcase. Um, see a good pack, maybe. They all died. They all died, okay. Now, you see? It only went up to there. Because I have They o can only target the minions right besides in range with the Herald of Ash once. And the overkill damage of Herald of Ash doesn't chain. But if we have an Explody mod, this is enough to make it completely chain. So this is pretty cool. Now, one thing I'm not sure of, maybe someone can clarify this for me. So the overkill, uh, burning damage, burning, the overkill damage is burning damage. Now burning damage in Path of Exile is not ignite. It's not ignite and since burning damage is no hit, it can't afflict, uh, inflict ignite as well. <coughs> However, burning damage stacks. Ignite doesn't. Ignite, is, ignite works in this way. Only the highest ignite that got inflicted is on the enemy. One debuff. Every other spell hits anything that inflicted ignite that deals less damage than the big ignite will be ignored and if there's a bigger ignite it gets overwritten burning damage works in a way you are burning and if you are burning from another source you're now burning twice as much <laughs> right so if there are two sources two two sources can burn you if there are three sources that can make you burn they all add together not multiple kill but just add it together on one burning debuff okay now I'm not quite sure how it works with Herald of Ash if the if we have the scenario of um, what happens if oh come on oh no I can't probably fully undo it no ah uh, uh, ah okay can't fully undo it ignore this ignore this okay let's say uh, let's say this one here is a bigger this one is a big 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 sexy rare right a big sexy rare now I'm not entirely sure now I'm not entirely sure what happens if we use our Herald of Ash and 
yeah, if our, our Herald of Ash kills all those mobs, right? So now all these mobs here would inflict their burning damage to this guy. Now I'm not sure if this gets added. I'm not sure if this gets added. Sometimes it looks like it does, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but... <laughs> would be cool if it does, but I'm not entirely sure, because technically it's from the same source, the burning damage, so it shouldn't, but I'm not entirely sure about this. Right, so now why did I talk about this for t 20 minutes? Uh, this could be a video on its own, n not gonna lie. I talked about this because I read through the comments and some guy inspired me to look further into Herald of Ash. And I did. I tested it with the uh, Self Ignite build. And. Well, I ran maps using Herald of Ash. I ran maps not using Herald of Ash. I ran maps not even using the Explosion and Herald of Ash. I ran maps. Uh, Using the ex what? No, I'm confused. However, so this build <laughs> has this enemies you your topping skill have a five percent chance to explode. Dealing five hundred percent of the maximum life is fire damage. So instead of a twenty one percent explosion, we have here five hundred percent explosion. But this explosion is so high, we don't really have to scale it other than with fire damage, right? And this build works in a way that ignites we inflict are reflected to us but we are unaffected by Ignite and the Ignite that now is on us spreads to other enemies within a radius of 1.5 meters scaled by AoE. This radius, however, this radius, however, um, it's not like a one-time spread, it's like over time Righteous Fire burning damage around you that periodically transfers your Ignite that you have. So it kind of, yeah, it transfers your Ignite, so... <laughs> You will see it in the map. <laughs> but yeah, it's like not a one time thing. It's like as long as you're ignited, you have a red circle around you and you are dealing dam damage to enemies you're rocking uh, you're rocking on. Uh, sorry for my broken language. Now, we've talked about all, all this. So, since we are spreading ignites, this means that once. Most damage we deal are based, is based on hit damage, so hits inflict ignite. So if we were to hit an enemy with big damage that inflicts ignite, that's enough to kill the enemy, or not, doesn't really matter. If the enemy dies or not, the enemy inflicts his ignite to other enemies. So if I were to use Photoshop again, um, as long as we inflict ignites, I mean, ignites get reflected back to us, yeah, yeah, cool. But as long as we inflict ignites to enemy, we ignited this enemy. So the ignite spreads to those, 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 those. Um, they're ignited, they have this radius on it, and it, ex it, it expands to those, those. <sighs> right? It, it keeps expanding. It keeps expanding. It doesn't matter if they die or not. The ignite keeps expanding. Even if it's a low-ass ignite that doesn't really deal any damage, it keeps expanding. It keeps expanding, okay? It keeps expanding. <clears throat> now, this means that if this enemy, for example, now would explode for the 500% damage explosion, the big explosion, the ignite of the enemy would also transfer to those and those would most likely die as well and also transfer it. However, if something were to happen, like, for example, this minion explodes, big explosion, but this one is already dead. If this is already dead, then it can't go over, so... I mean, it would be the same with Herald of Ash, no? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> point is, point is that... Uh, even without Herald of Ash, our ignites spread to any enemy that is around that is in range for it to spread. I, I kind of had the feeling that if I use Herald of Ash, that I would have some benefits, like I would inflict some or a bigger ignite. I kind of read about it and trying to, to make it work, but uh, while doing my maps without Herald of Ash, without the explosion even, 
I realized that I can do maps. Maybe I can't do the map boss without this, but I can do entire maps without the explosion, and I can't do can do entire maps without uh, Herald of Ash and the explosion. It was all cool. So I figured, wait, well, no matter if Herald of Ash does anything to give us a big ignite or not, and I think it doesn't actually, but I kind of had the feeling too. It doesn't really matter because we don't need Herald of Ash, because we chain our ignites anyway. The thing with Herald of Ash is that. The way I explained it, it might sound like it takes a while to transfer all this Herald of Ash damage, right? But as you saw in the Atoll um, pre-case, pre preview, pre-what? Showcase. Um, it is instantly. It is instantly. And this is what makes pretty cool, but the Ignite spread is instantly as well. So I figured, wait, I can just <laughs> cut Herald of Ash and not play Herald of Ash, because Herald of Ash might give us more spell damage, but nothing we really need scales with spell damage. For example, we are playing um, Volatile Dead of Seething, and the explosion, 4% of the corpse maximum HP, is an explosion, right? Like we talked about in the other build, it's basically exp an explosion mod that deals less damage, not 10%, but 4%, but it's not really less, and we can force it. It's not like there's a chance, so we can just force it, right? This explosion doesn't scale with spell damage anyway, so Herald of Ash doesn't do much. It doesn't really do much. So we kind of dropped Herald of Ash now. Okay. Because this explosion most of the time inflicts a bigger ignite than the base damage of the spell, and because it inflicts a bigger ignite than the base damage, it kind of doesn't matter if we scale the base damage or not. So we had a free skill point, a skill um, socket on this build. And I was kind of thinking, what do I put in? So I looked on. Path of Building, by the way, since I made the video, there are now like 10 more people that play Volatile of Seething. Nice. But um, what we did before was... Normally... Uh, 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 am I confused now? Maybe a bit. Normally people cast Desecrate and then detonate that, right? Desecrate, detonate that. Desecrate, detonate that. Now... We upgraded it to detonate Volatile Dead of Seething. Why? Because a Detonate Dex Dead explodes once. This explodes five times. For only half the explosion damage, but half the explosion damage five times. So technically, because it's five times a hit that is smaller, the Detonate Dead inflicts a bigger ignite. But this doesn't matter, because this is so spammy, it, 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 it doesn't matter. Because the big ignite comes from your explosion anyway. So if this explosion goes up anywhere, anywhere, it doesn't matter where, it always gets reflected back to you, because this is the biggest ignite you can possibly inflict with this build, and this ignite overrides every other ignite, so it doesn't really matter if your small ignites are not uh, perfectly um, scaled, because this is five times the explosion damage, instead of only one time. And the balls explode as well. So instead of exploding, the no dead explodes one time for the corpse percentage HP and one times for spell damage. So it explodes two times. This explodes ten times with one cast. And this is a lie because this is the upgrade we could we did awaken spell cascade support. What awaken spell cascade support does is supported area of effect skills also affect areas in front of in front of, behind, and each side of the targeted area. Means that our Desecrate now doesn't spawn five corpses, but enough to spawn ten balls at once. Oh, am I missing mana? What is going on here? Oi! Am I missing mana? I'm missing mana. Yeah, see? We all always get ten explosion, ten balls. Now, to showcase this in the map. Give me this back. Uh, put this back. Put this into our boots with our volatile dead. The big one. With our volatile dead. Ah, oh, no, wait. Our volatile dead is in the. Yeah. Exactly. Desecrate. Now, to showcase this in the map. Uh, just do any map here. 113%. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just do it. <coughs> Okay, then now we'll go into the wild woods. Oh. <laughs> Just, 
I'm walking around aimlessly, by the way, because I'm still missing the boss. And I was hoping that the boss might be here. But it doesn't really give the impression like he is. Sadly, sadly, so I wasted no. Yeah, they all die now because I have a big ignite from the explosion. Now it's gone. This isn't <laughs> this isn't completely great, I don't know what this honestly. Um Herald of Ash anymore, but as you can see, the explosions, now well not the explosions, the ignite still change, Cha change, enough to but you can't, you can't see it, but it's not, we, we kinda lose, <laughs> nah, never mind, I was about to say we kinda lose, um, bit of nice, Explosion visuals, but this is not even true. <laughs> the only problem with this is, and this is why Herald of Ash might not be. Oh, we have two seconds left. Oh, we don't have the explosion. See, this is our boss damage. We didn't get Hina off. Oh, we did get Hina off, but of a small minion. And now our ignite is gone. Unlucky, but we just move into the last corner of this, so the boss won't do anything. We cast our Vile Breach. What is this? Eh? Oh no! Ah, okay. I had the cannot be damaged. But? I still didn't get the explosion on. Why is it so unlucky when I try to showcase this? <sighs> yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure if uh, doing the boss is worth it if you can't I mean most of the times most of the times uh I actually do get the explosion and the big ignite, so it dies. But it's not consistent, as you can see right now. However, we just go again. We just go again, we just have to get our Wild Breach up back again. And oh, well, this is a good showcase as well. Here's a Legion, so we are cast when stunned, so technically shouldn't be able to do legions. Right. However, if we get the Hinakoros explosion off, it doesn't look like we got. I think maybe now we got, but I can't say for sure, we will see. Yeah, see? Ah, this is a good example. I don't know if we have the Hinakoros ignite right now, because we're kind of doing... I think we have, but maybe on a real... Not well, it's 500% of the enemy's max HP, so if we hit a monster that is low HP, like a normal monster, it's not that uh, reliant on dealing good damage. But, um, we can do Legion, it is fine. This is actually 
unfortunate right now. Um, in terms of how many times I get good rolls and how many times I get bad rolls. Headhunter. Why do I do that? Veil of the Knights. Okay. Um, now. Back to the boss. Back to the boss. The boss is in the middle of the room. This is unfortunate. Hey boss, come here. Come here please. No! No boss, don't run after me! <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is fine? I hope so. Ah, this is fine. Ah, uh, now we got it? We get it? Yeah, we get it, I think. Yeah, we get it. I think sure, why not? <laughs> but, hey, the good part is... Is it worth to the boss? I mean, if you want Alva missions, for example... Sure, why not? Well, you can also buy Saxons, but if you want Alva sure, missions to min-max more... Um, I think it's worth... I'm an artist. Especially yeah. if I'm a you, performance uh, artist. Especially if you're doing like juiced up maps where you kinda want to get everything from the map that you can get, then it's not so. Uh, then it's not so. It doesn't really matter that you have to, to get to this time investment if you didn't get it on the first try. Also, if you have Vile Breach, so you have multiple chances, right? First of all, you can go here and kill mobs here and maybe get the King of Chorus explosion off here then run into the arena and try to kill the boss then there might be minions at the boss for, because for example there's a ritual or something so you have another chance of getting the explosion then you can use your vile breach and if this doesn't hit by the way you have to take care if you are if you can be stunned you have to find the position where you can't be stunned for 2.5 seconds but if you use your vile breach and you still don't get it, then you have to log out because you can't place a portal. And you don't want to place a portal because you can't... Well, you can place a portal, but you don't want to leave the boss area. Uh, sorry. Because you want to leave the boss area. Because if you would stay into in the boss area, then there you wouldn't... You can't just go out again and you can't find more monsters to get the explosion of or souls for your wild beach. So you want to get out of the boss area by um, logging out. But yeah, that's... That's the current character, as of right now. I'm pretty happy with how things went. Um, and yeah, hopefully you can find some useful information in this video, or you found some useful information video in this video, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.